ex-Danish Lockheed Martin F-16s engaged Russian cruise missiles in aerial combat three weeks after Ukraine received its first batch of American fighters. Western military experts say Ukraine initially intended to use the F-16s as air defense weapons. During the battle, they were armed with AIM-9 and AIM-120 air-to-air missiles, Forbes reports. The missile attack on Ukraine on August the 26th was the largest in 29 months of war. The enemy attacked with both missiles and kamikaze drones. On August the 26th, 102 missiles and 99 drones were destroyed. Experts write that Kyiv is arming its fighters with AIM-9 and AIM-120 missiles from the 1980s. However, there is a big plus in the fact that there are many of them in the arsenal of Ukraine's allies. Experts are confident that by the end of the year, Kyiv will use F-16s only as air defense to shoot down missiles. However, as soon as their fleet increases significantly, strikes will be carried out against enemy air defense systems and aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces. To protect the F-16s from Russian missiles, Ukraine retained the fighter's recently installed Pylon Integrated Dispensing System and Electronic Combat Pylon Systems, PIDs and ESIPs respectively. PIDs emits metallic reflectors and dazzlers to simulate incoming radar and infrared guided missiles. ESIPs contain passive defenses in addition to the active reflectors and dazzlers, including a jammer to suppress ground radars and a missile warning system. Recall the United States has reprogrammed the electronic warfare systems on Ukrainian F-16 fighters, which turned the aircraft into real invisibles for Russian radars. This was reported by the Western portal The War Zone, citing its own sources. According to incoming information, before being sent to Ukraine, the aircraft underwent a deep modernization within the framework of which engineers of the 68th Squadron of the US Armed Forces updated the machines intended for the Ukrainian Air Force. American specialists are the bearers of advanced experience in electronic warfare and are constantly engaged in increasing the survivability of U.S. Air Force aircraft. Together with engineers from Europe, the Americans reprogrammed the electronic warfare systems on F-16 fighters from Denmark and the Netherlands. Journalists found out that the engineers did a lot of complex work to make the fighters more protected from threats from Russia. Work on the aircraft systems proved challenging due to tight deadlines and the need to modify a system not in U.S. service. To carry out this challenging task, the 68th Squadron assembled a dedicated team of experienced experts. The Russian military started using World War II-era M30 howitzers in the war against Ukraine. One of the Russian military published a video of the damaged howitzer. According to military media outlet, the howitzer in the video is the 122mm M30 developed in the 1930s and actively used by the Soviet army in the war against Nazi Germany. According to the author, the howitzer captured in the video was damaged as a result of an attack on their positions by Ukrainian FPV drones in the amount of about 15 units. The author also notes that the howitzer stood at the position for two days, after which it was put out of action due to constant shelling by Ukrainian defenders. The M30 howitzer has a 22.7 caliber barrel, which allows it to fire at a range of up to 12 kilometers. It is capable of firing a wide range of 122 millimeter shells, which allows it to be unified with other 122 millimeter artillery systems. It should be noted that over the past year, the Russian military has started to actively restore artillery systems from the 1930s and 1960s due to an acute shortage of artillery systems. In addition, the enemy is currently repairing its own artillery systems using naval guns that are currently being decommissioned. Militani previously reported that the Russians have started using a hybrid of a naval gun and a carriage from an M46 towed artillery gun. There is a high probability that these hybrid guns are manufactured by Russian enterprises to provide the troops with a required quantity of artillery systems. Since the AK-130 naval guns have been manufactured since the early 1980s, the Russian Navy has a lot of them in their warehouses. 
Since the AK-130 is not installed on new ships, it is possible for decommissioned guns to be used in land-based systems. Hey, Kot, you alive? Kot.